I was thrilled, of course, and I was thrilled that it was Jason Reitman because I, I was very familiar with, with his work and he seemed like a, um, an ideal director for this, for this project. I was glad it was a young director. Um, the, the, the story um, takes place in 1987, but it's, it's, it, it's the story of a, a now grown man, the grown character of the son, looking back over this weekend that changed everybody's life. When I first started talking to Jason about the pie scene in the movie, I urged him to have a pie that wasn't going to look like a perfect pie, that would look like a handmade, homemade pie, not a Martha Stewart pie, perfectly smooth and um, finished off with every little crimp of the crust just so. Um, and, and I think that that's what Josh has made. She's a woman you know of Adele that, that something in life has hurt her badly and you don't know what it was, but she is a wounded bird. Um, she's a single mother. Um, I myself was a single mother um, uh, raising children alone. I think I'm a very, in a small New Hampshire town, I'm a very different person from Adele. I don't, uh, Adele is not me, and, uh, um, but I did understand the loneliness of a, a woman without a partner raising a young boy uh, and trying to teach him how to be a good man. I'm a romantic and I, I love a love story, um, but I also am a realist, so I, I couldn't have written a believable, simple, happily ever after love story. I don't think love works that way usually and probably not for people at the at the stage of life that Adele and Frank find themselves where a lot a lot has already happened and a lot of it hasn't been good so I I wanted to leave I wanted I never set out to send a message in my books I just want to tell a good story that's all I ever want to do but uh, the feelings that that I have about love, I think, come out in this story, maybe more than in any other book I've ever written. And it is a belief in the power of enduring love, a, a, an endless optimism. Sometimes people have to wait a very long time. And that's part of what this story is about.